Hello, it's been, it's been a while per usual. Every time I start a video, I'm like, it's been a while. But it has, it's always been a while. Cause I'm always so busy living life in the moment that I don't even have time to edit when I chose to record the moment. So what you're about to watch is a kind of old video. It's from my first Paris Fashion Week, which was fucking exciting and I went on a last minute whim because I got invited to go see two shows from two brands that I love and adore very much. Um, I got invited to the Kiko show and the Miu Miu show, which was like such an honor. Like I'm still so grateful that the Miu Miu team invited me and had me there. That's, that's such a huge moment. And as we're going into the end of the year, I can't help but like sit around and think about that. And I think that in a few years I'll look back and I'll be so proud of myself even though I am proud of myself now that I was able to make that happen. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this footage even though it is a little old, but it's not that old. I look the fucking same. It's like it happened yesterday. <laughs> but before we end to the video, I do want to give a thank you to the AF94 team. Um, since I recorded this, like actually right after this trip, I went to New York and I shot a campaign with them and I've worked with them before, you guys know that. I really do admire this brand. I admire that it does such a good job of like not only being inclusive within the models that they choose to shoot, but also within the fact that like we all know that expanding a makeup collection can be a real financial burden and this company has gone out of their way to make that so much more accessible to so many more people i remember when i was younger and i was like so obsessed with makeup it was so hard for me to get to it i did naughty things that i maybe shouldn't have done and to know now that there's a brand like af94 who is like putting out really good products and really extreme ranges of products you have your everyday things like my lipstick that I'm wearing right now actually and I get so many fucking questions about my lipstick so you're welcome and thank you AF94 for providing me with such good lip products that I love um this this lipstick already has I actually think I had this one in our last integration but it's because I still use it it is getting a little dry um so I have to replace it soon but thankfully it won't fucking put a dent in my wallet when I do replace it sorry for cursing I'd probably have to bleep that but maybe not because the AF94 team loves me <laughs> Um, but this one is just one night. I like use it to like kind of pseudo line my lips. And then I use this scribble crayon in Ride With Me, Ride Me, no, it's called Ride With Me. Um, and this combo is what I'm wearing today. Yeah, I love this duo on my lips. I think it is so flattering and looks so good. And they have like an array of colors that if maybe these colors wouldn't be too flattering on you, you will find the color for you. I'm also naughty and I use this glossy lip crayon in whipped cream on my eyes like all the time and I'll give you a little duo. I should be holding my eyes I feel but I just love the way this looks on my eyes like if you know me you know I'm obsessed with like a silver or like a sparkle on my eyes and I think this is like perfect for like a daytime use because sometimes with a, like a silver eye I feel like it can be too much and like too like look at me like this is perfect and I feel like I personally love like a glossy lid. I know some people may not like that because it's like oily but like oh I love my lids get all oily. But I love that so much because I feel like I'm like, I'm like I know it's winter time but I'm literally dewy slay right now. But yeah again thank you so much to the AF94 team. Um, for sponsoring this video and for partnering with me and for taking very gorgeous photos of me Which maybe you've seen if you follow me on Instagram and if you follow them on Instagram um, I Look forward to Working with them again in the new year if they would let me Now's your time to email me. Thank you um, make sure you hit the link in my bio and Give AF94 a try out for yourself. With that being said, enjoy me in Paris talking to myself for way too long. Cause all I did was fucking talk to a camera, which is really shocking and very rare for me nowadays. Um, and I really like this video and it's sweet and it makes me happy. And yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you AF94. I hope everybody is having a sweet holiday season.
I'll see you in the new year, baby. I just woke up. And you're probably like, oh my god, Enya, that's so awesome. What are you going to do with your day? <laughs> it's 3.30 p.m. <laughs> Everybody who knows me has heard me say this before, but I, jet lag aside, am incapable of going out and staying out late unless I'm going to sleep all day the next day. And I didn't go to sleep till 5 a.m. last night. It's too busy celebrating life. The good news is, I don't think I'm gonna go out for the rest of my time here. The culture here, like, I, this happened last time, but last time I went out, I like was able to call it early and just be like, I'm so tired, I, I know I won't wake up, I'm gonna go home. Um, but the problem is, the nightlife here is just like, so awake because everybody else does it and then gets up me mm -mm. me plus these blackout curtains equals like an infinite sleep like literally room service thinks I fucking died because they've knocked on that damn door like 18 times what's sad too is I had an alarm for 11 45 and then I woke up but I was like I'm so exhausted now I'm honestly gonna sleep till one and then I woke up at 1, and I literally don't remember going back to sleep. Like, I just remember waking up again being like, oh, hell no, I know it's late. Um, so that's good. Orion said, I need a chill night. Yeah. Yeah, me too. Yeah, me too. I'm so tired. The fucked up part is I could go back to sleep. Because I'm also like, it's a Sunday. What am I going to do at 3 p.m.? Probably like 4.30 p.m. Because that's the time, by the time I'll like be up and ready. What am I going to do at 4.30 p.m.? I'm right next to Gallery Lafayette. So I might go walk around. It's like a Nordstrom type beat. Yeah, everyone's fucking hungover. I'm not hungover though. That I will say. Because I've said this on the podcast. But I fully am like at my like three drink limit. And then like. What I'll do is if I'm going to be out till fucking 5 a.m., I'll have, like, three drinks that are, like, tequila-based. And then I'm like, cool, it's 1.40 a.m. We got here at 11. I don't know what else to do. So I'll carry a beer around for the rest of the night and be like... Mm. And that's, like, enough for me. Granted, I probably don't feel like shit, too, because I just slept so long. But also, I, I like, this is me just trying to make myself not feel so bad. I will say... I didn't sleep, like, at all yesterday. I got on that flight. Let's, let's figure out the map, okay? Even though I don't think that this kind of sleep travel and, like, math counts. How, how do I explain this? Basically, I was traveling from 9 a.m. L.A. time to almost 8 a.m. L.A. time. That's when I finally, like, was able to lay into a bed and take a nap. Or 7 a.m. L.A. time. That's when I, like, took a nap. In between that, I slept for four hours on the plane ride. And it was probably the worst sleep of my life. So, that means from, for that full 24 hours, I slept for, like, a solid two hours. <sighs> and then I got my little ass up and I went and I hustled and I bustled. And I went to the Kiko show and it was fucking amazing. I loved it so much. And now I literally have a bunch of free days, and then I'm going to see Mew Mew. I'm going to the Mew Mew show <laughs> on Tuesday? Yeah, Tuesday. That's literally why I'm here. Like, I basically came here to see the Mew Mew show, because guess what? You don't get invited to the Mew Mew show and turn that down. 
That's literally my dream show. I should probably get up. Maybe I order a latte, but I feel like I should go walk and get a latte. Uh, for the past like 24 hours I've been having a lot of room service like I got back home last night and I ate chicken breast and french fries instead of my what I would truly want which is McNuggets here are the waters that make you more thirsty and they do not quench your thirst like what <laughs> like that they don't they're not quenching my thirst they're making me more thirsty and one of them honestly there's two new contenders that I'm realizing do this in more subtle ways. And, okay, in general, I'm done with plastic bottles. Like, in this hotel room, like, am I allowed to drink the fucking tap water in Paris? Because I'm about to start doing it, or I'm going to pay fucking eight quadrillion dollars for the spring water in the fridge. Because this, this cannot be good for me. Like, this is not quenching my thirst. It's Evian. It's not quenching anything. This tastes awful. I think all bottled waters, other than spring water, are poised to make you more thirsty. Dasani and Aquafina. Oh, bitch. Bitch, if you're eating somewhere and you see that the two bottled waters they serve, it's Aquafina and Dasani. Do, 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 run. Bam, 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 bam. Run. No, I'm not having a fucking bottle of Aquafina with my fucking meal. Are you kidding me? Granted, I always get tap water. Because, okay, let's talk about that. Restaurants, like, offering you bottled water or tap water. Bitch, you're cooking my food with the tap water. Give me the fucking tap water. What? That is so crazy. You're crazy. I think I technically have to turn in some content for the ID thing. So I'm probably going to do that. Oh, but the water bottles it's aquafina dasani life water yeah be careful with that one i used to be an avid smart water drinker and i feel like that that's doing something bad and essentia too i just i can't get with i will say essentia doesn't taste as like grossly like ph'd out but what's up with this pH shit? We, in the past 3 million years of humans' existence, we have never needed more pH. Or like pH balancing minerals. Start taking fucking vitamins. I gotta get out of here before the sun goes down because I will kill myself. Bitch. <laughs> Tell me why the La La Land song came on last night at the club and these bitches went crazy, crazy. I couldn't believe it. I was like, I was trying to get a video of it. There was this motherfucker also who was serving live vocals, like on a crazy level. No more talking. My eczema around my mouth is like gonna drive me crazy. Mm -mm. After lots of time, it's five, like 30 almost now. To be fair, I had phone to do on, I, I had work to do on my iPhone. I don't know where I'm going. I literally have no idea where I'm gonna eat. Also, it's so funny how big this camera is. Cause I'm just like holding out the biggest camera on the goddamn planet talking to myself. But thankfully because of TikTok, I feel like it's like so normal to see people talking to themselves now. We've done it. We've normalized talking to ourselves. I know where I'm gonna try and go eat. I was also a naughty girl. I bought some shoes. I didn't need to do that. But I was 
going to say you're only in Paris once, but it's my second time here this year, so I have no excuse to be doing this. I probably won't film in this restaurant if I even get a seat because I found this spot because last time when I was here, hold on. Probably won't film in this spot because it's like a really small restaurant. It's a sushi spot I found last time I was here because it's on the same block of the hotel I was staying at with Orion, Chateau Voltaire, which is like a gorgeous hotel. Rest in peace, not to that hotel, but to me because I didn't get to stay there this time. But probably won't film there. Gonna have a sushi. Gonna have a beer. Gonna eat some sushi. Gonna listen to music. I wish I brought a book, but I didn't bring a book. I d bringing books when you're traveling is like so stupid. Like you're not gonna read that. Put that down, girl. Put put it down. I love this restaurant so much, but I didn't finish anything. Not even my beer. It was just too much. I think I. I shouldn't have had a croissant right before I walked in because I just wasn't as hungry. And now looking at the footage, I wish I was here. One, there's pink toilet paper. Two, this toilet's brain is too big for its body. And then to flush, you have to push this, which is probably the hardest lever I've ever touched in my life. And I felt the need to show that to y'all because this fucking toilet has a huge brain. Now it's the ideal time of the day. It's really funny because as I've gotten older, I realize what I like so much about um, Miami nighttime is the lighting. I love orange lighting at night. I don't know. I don't know why night lights are orange. Maybe it's to mimic daylight. I just made that up. But I think it's so gorgeous. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, Dad. Well, oh, shit. Just ordered a double shot of espresso because the only cafe I walked past that looked open, I'm gonna be honest, looked repulsive so think about that think about that also the upsetting thing about this room is there's no espresso machine it's just like <clears throat> oh my god instant coffees and honestly i'd rather fucking die than have an instant coffee I have to take the biggest dump, but they're gonna pull up in like five minutes. The question is, do I risk it? Do I see if I can get this dumpy out in time? Also, while I was walking back, um, listening to music, just being like, wow, I'm so grateful for the life I am able to lead at this point in my life. Um, the biggest drop of dookie water from an AC unit or something fell right in the middle of my face so I'm probably gonna get the new strain of the next viral disease and per usual I will be a trendsetter yeah it's me I did it while we wait for my coffee let's do an unboxing shall we an unboxing this is new for me I don't usually do unboxings and whatnot so Got another pair of tabbies because I'm insane. I'm insane in the membrane. I don't know if I'm, I'm pretty sure it's cheaper to shop here. So, you know, I don't usually splurge, but I'm gonna let my house self have fun. I also say that all the time. I don't splurge a lot. But when I really want something, I get it because I have no grasp of reality. And that's that on that. They're silk tabby flats and I'm gonna wear them tonight um, I'm gonna go hang out with a friend for her birthday celebration rain 
I don't know why I said it like it's a secret. But it's Green's birthday. We're gonna go have a little chill night in. And I wanna wear these because they're so fucking cute. They're gorgeous. Also, because as most of you know, I have um, individualism, ego issues. We know. Oh, we know. Actually, I can't wear these because if I want to get comfy and take my fucking socks off, my toes don't look good. And one thing about me is I will not be caught with my toes looking fugly. Are you fucking kidding me? That's so embarrassing. Although that's just like an insane beauty standard held for women. That makes no sense because men's toes are fucking... Men's toes are fucking nasty. Hissing me off. But, um... They're so... He heard me yelling and he probably thought I was on the fucking phone. These are so gorgeous. These are so gorgeous. Hold on. Look at them. They're gorgeous. POV, I've just hit you so fucking hard. You fall to the floor and you're in shock because I just knocked you out. But you're coming to and the first thing you see are my beautiful new Margella tabbies in silk. I'd imagine if I hit you, I'd be like, I'd be tapping, I'd be pissed. I guess, would I be wearing these if I hit you that hard? Yeah, I don't think these would be the shoes I'm wearing. I love this, uh, the idea of this tattoo on my ankle because it's like a sweet idea, but I fucking hate this tattoo and I want it removed. See, I'm such a good girl because I just knocked you out, but I'm like talking to you and opening up about things that like I usually don't tell people. And you? Um, can I please have a latte with almond milk sent up to my room with um, a chocolate croissant? Yes. 2601. I just slept so long, but last night I had a little edible. And CBD sometimes kicks my ass. Granted, I'm also just tired. I want to go home. <laughs> Not actually though. Today's the Mew Mew show. And I have to leave here in a little under two hours. So I need to get ready. I'm getting myself ready. I know I'm humble. I slay. I serve. I'm a beast. And I'm making my own bed. I'm a big girl. I was supposed to wake up earlier to do a face mask and I didn't. I was just a tired girl way too long. This song reminds me of Josh, Drew, Orion, Lucas, and Christian, and Josiah, and it like makes me want to cry. Like, I sometimes I feel corny because of how often I mention that like how much those people mean to me, but like literally love never felt so good. And then while I was walking around thinking about it, I was like, this is fully supposed to be like a romantic song. Like it's fully supposed to be like dedicated to a lover. But I was like, no, this, I could not imagine dedicating this song to anybody but my friends. I struggled with my hair for so long. Like doing my hair was like probably the most difficult task I've done all week. Like sometimes slinking my bangs down, like takes so much gel because I don't know, my hair, maybe my hair isn't, thick as much as it is dense, even though those are the same word. Okay, I just finished my makeup. Orion just got here because we're going together. So I have to fucking change because we literally need to leave in like 10 minutes. Trapped by the speed of life on the soft sand, it's a difference that makes no difference. 